In this lecture, we are going to learn about structure within structure. So what we are going to basically do is we are going to use a structure inside of structure. So if we assume structure one and structure two as your two structures, then inside of structure two, I'm declaring a variable struct one of type structure one. So structure two is having some data member inside of it, out of which there is one data member of type struct one. So inside of struct one, there would be data members of struct one. So when we declare a variable struct2 of type structure2 we can access variables of struct2 as struct2 dot member name similarly we can access data members of variable struct1 of structure1 as struct1 dot member name so similarly for struct2 which is variable of type structure2 which is variable of type structure2 after that we can write dot struct1 which is declared over here and we can use another dot operator to access data members of struct1 so this is one example of structure within structure so we are using struct1 inside of struct2 let us take one example to understand this concept better in this program we'll declare structure name as student and inside of this structure variable we will have another structure as dob and dog that is date of birth and date of joining which is in date format so we will require month date and yy as three variables to specify a date so i'm using a structure as structure date inside it i have these three integer variables mmdd and yy then i'm using one more structure as employee inside of that i have a character array that is a string for storing name then integer variable employee id and after that i have a structure declared inside of this structure that is of type date and my variable names are dob and dog so what is happening over here we have this structure as employee and inside of that i have name as character array then employee id as integer and inside of that we have structure variables dob and dvoj of type date which internally have three data members of type integer mm dd yy and similarly here also mm dd yy to access this variable suppose we have e as structure variable name for employee then we can access this variable as e dot dob dot mm then e dot dob dot dd similarly e dot dob dot yy same process for dob so let us see what I have written in made. First of all, I have created a structure variable E of type employee. Then I'm asking user to enter name, which is I'm going to store in E dot name. After that, I'm asking user to enter employee ID, which will be stored into E dot EMP underscore ID. And then I'm asking user to enter date of joining. And I'm also suggesting him the format. Notice that inside of scanf statement, I have percent D dash percent D dash percent D. So all the values for these three integers, which will be inputted by user will be stored at these locations e.doj.dd e.doj.mm and e.doj.yy so user has to explicitly type dash between these two variables so percent d dash percent d dash percent d so if he wants to enter date as 26th of may 1983 then he will enter 26 dash 05 dash 1983 so 2605 and 1983 will be stored in these respective values use of dash is required in this case because if user just enters 2605 1983 then compiler won't know where which variable is ending similarly after that i'm asking user to enter date of birth the same format is here but instead of doj i am using dob as storage and once all the values are entered by user we are just simply going to print all the variables here so in the first line i'm printing e dot name as string then e dot emp id as percent d then doj percent d dash percent d dash percent d and i'm going to supply value of dog over here similarly on the next line value of dob over here 